we'll meet up on the mat in uh, easy seated pose. Great. So starting off with the left ankle in front of the right. We'll gently ease into our hips. Changing our position as we go. Starting off with a tall torso. Shoulders melted away from the ears and the back of the hands lying gently on our knees or our thighs. And we'll take a few deep breaths in through the nose and side out through the mouth. Noticing the rising and falling of the rib cage. Bringing our awareness to the breath in and out through the nose. Gentle softness in our faces. Getting a sense of the mood and energy of the body, areas of lightness, perhaps discomfort or heaviness. Running from head to toe. Feeling the contact our body makes on the earth below. And perhaps we set an intention for today's practice, starting out by congratulating ourselves for getting to the mat. Rotating our hands so that our palms are wrapped around our knees. We'll slowly circle around, moving our torso in a circular motion, getting a sense of the sensations in the hips, the lower back, possibly into the thighs and knees. Maybe even using our hands to push against our knees to expand our rotation in that range of motion. And we'll switch directions. Wherever it feels natural, to slow and stop. Noticing the rhythm of our breath. One more circle and we'll come back to neutral. Deep breath here. Sighing it out. We'll extend our legs in front of us before Shifting to the other side, giving the knees a little wiggle. Maybe even the feet. And then slowly we'll bring our left leg in and our right ankle in front of the left. We reposition for some side bends. 
So fingertips are stretched out on the mat to our sides. And we'll lift our left arm over our shoulder, reaching tall, creating space in the side body. And then slowly on the exhale, we'll walk our hand outwards, anchoring our left hip to the earth. We'll slowly melt over to our sides, not collapsing, pressing up into our shoulder, holding ourselves in the side body. Calm, steady rhythm of breath to nourish and open all those microfibers along the left side of the body. Noticing slight transformations in the sensations as the body starts to open and the nervous system starts to calm. Three more breaths. And we press ourselves up with our right arm, inhaling, we reset in the middle. Deep breath in between. And inhaling, lifting our right arm over our shoulder, finding length, and then slowly walking ourselves over to the opposite side, hinging our hip down, not letting it lift off the mat. Noticing different sensations on this side, perhaps an openness or a stickiness that we need to work through. Calm and steady, honoring the state of our body, and being curious as to the stickiness. Noticing the body start to soften and release energy. Big reach, holding ourselves up, breathing through the right side body. And maybe some curiosity in the neck, moving the head around. Three more breaths. We'll press ourselves up with our left hand, inhaling, resetting in the center. Big breath in, exhaling now. Good. We'll extend the legs wide on the mat, opening them up gently, shifting our hips back and allowing space for our legs on the mat. And then we can shift ourselves forward. Yummy. Keeping our toes pointed up, we'll gently walk ourselves out, keeping a tall torso, not rotating our legs forward. Melting into the inner thighs, keeping our awareness on the breath. We're not pushing too far, too fast. We don't want to create stress here today. Checking in, the toes are still pointed upwards. And we're keeping our inner thighs rolled back.
Three more breaths. And we'll slowly walk our hands in. Coming out of this. And we'll stack our legs. So starting off with the right leg under the left again. Stacking in double figure four. Or we can come into Gomokasana with our knees stacked on top. Whichever feels most comfortable for us. Or that's going to give us the majority of our hip opening. Exploring. Finding what works for us. We'll inhale our arms all the way up over our shoulders. We'll float our arms into a twist, coming over to the left. Fingertips are pressed into the earth and we'll gaze over our left shoulder. Breathing our torso tall. And nourishing any spaces that may be sticky, heavy, dark. Just breathing light into those spaces. Three more breaths. And we come back to center. We inhale, reaching our arms back up. And we come forward, bringing our hands to the earth, wherever they connect naturally, maintaining a tall torso, sinking into the hips, noticing what the lower back and outer hips might be saying to us, just easing our way in gently. Keeping our awareness on the breath and the physical sensations to anchor us to this present moment. The only moment that we have to experience fully. Noticing a releasing of tension as we slowly ease our way down. Supporting along the way. Moving through micro movements, the body might be craving with the head or the neck. And tuning in to all those sensations, listening to the messages that they carry. Three more breaths here. And we'll slowly press ourselves up, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders and head, extending the legs out, Dandasana, giving them a little wiggle. <sighs> Rolling, pointing, flexing. And then we'll switch sides, this time with the left leg underneath, the right leg on top, in whichever of the positions works for us. Checking in with the hips, with the goal to sink a little bit deeper, clearing out blocked energy. Inhaling, lifting our arms over our shoulders, reaching high. Exhale, we'll come into our twist, bringing one hand behind the other in front on whichever leg, knee or ankle, pressing the fingertips to 
that our torso is elongated and we're gazing over the right shoulder. Deep nourishing breaths to massage the tissues and to create space. Noticing what's happening in the upper back, and shoulders and neck. Perhaps changing our hand placement makes a difference. Exploring, being aware and connected. Three more breaths. Now we roll out of that, coming back to center. Inhale, reaching our arms tall over our shoulders, elongating the torso, and then exhaling, bringing our hands to the earth. Slowly walking forward, melting into the hips as the body allows, maintaining that calm rhythm of breath. No expectation or competition. Being curious rather than judgmental. Noticing distractions that might pop into our minds, noting them and allowing them to keep floating by. Bringing our awareness back to the breath and the body and allowing this time to nurture our minds as well as our bodies. Three more breaths. And we'll slowly walk our hands in, stacking our torso over the hips. We'll release our legs wide on the mat again, creating that space in the inner thighs, stretching out the knees, Pressing ourselves forward as possible. And again, we'll flex the feet, pointing the toes up, rolling the shoulders up and back. We have the option to reach behind our back, interlacing the hands, lifting the arms away from the body, breathing into the chest and down the arms. Gentle expression on our faces. Calm strength. Noticing those micro transformations of sensations down the arms. Into the wrists. And we release. Bringing the bottoms of the feet together. Butterflying the legs. Drawing the heels towards us as possible. We'll start off with lengthening the torso, grabbing onto the feet to round the backs, butterflying the legs. And again, with the tall torso, we can slowly hinge ourselves forward 
rounding into the pose, bringing our hands to the earth, melting over those legs. Again, we check in with the sensations in the lower back, perhaps down the outer edges of the, the legs, through the glutes, down through the IT band. Breathing into areas of discomfort. And again, noticing how the body settles into the pose. Three more breaths. <clears throat> we walk our hands in. We release our knees, bringing them into our chest for a gentle hug. <clears throat> Wrapping our arms around the knees, tucking our heads in chin to chest noticing the energy running down the back of the neck Three more breaths here. And we'll slowly roll over, bringing the knees underneath us into our rock pose. Starting off with our feet flat underneath the shins. Sitting on the heels as possible or grabbing a block for support. With our hands on our thighs, we'll inhale, lifting our chests through, exhaling, butterflying the arms, rounding into the spine, lowering our chin to chest. Inhale, we draw the elbows back, chest through. Exhale, we round back forward. Pressing into our spine, finding a flow that suits us as we explore our range of motion and check in with those physical sensations. Drawing the shoulder blades in and back and then pressing into them on the exhalation. Three more. One more to the rhythm of our breath. We come back to neutral. Sign it out. Ah. Bringing our toes underneath our feet, 
making sure all five toes are connecting to the mat. And we'll continue our cat-cow, bringing our arms up over our chest and our shoulders, interlacing, pressing the palms upwards. Deep breaths in. On the exhale, we round, bringing the arms parallel to the floor, pressing the palms forward. Inhale, we reach up, arching the lower back, opening our chest and abdomen. Exhale, we round back. Finding our flow. Two more. We come back to neutral, bringing our arms behind us, interlacing the hands. Again, lifting the chest, rolling the shoulders back, lifting our arms away from the body as possible. Feeling the energy move from the shoulders down the arms, opening through the arms, down into the wrists. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. Noticing the chatter of the feet and the toes. Three more breaths. Two. Last one. And we release coming into all fours. Hands under the chest, and we tap out our feet. Tapping, rolling, pointing, flexing. Beautiful. And in our all fours, we'll slowly shift our weight left to right, hanging our heads heavy. Gentle sway. back to neutral. We'll curl our toes under our shins. We'll step, set ourselves up for a down dog. Deep breaths in. Exhale, we lift the hips. We press our knees back and we press into the heels. Finding stability here. Hanging our heads heavy between our arms. And feeling all the opening that we're creating in the back of the legs. Good. Coming back down to our knees, we have the option to grab one block, bringing it over to the side of our body. We'll start with the block on the left side as desired. We bring our left knee all the way through so that our legs are at 90-90. We can slowly sink forward, 
melting into our right hip flexor, finding stability here, keeping our hips forward facing, tall torso. We have the option to reach our right arm all the way up over our shoulder, continuing to melt forward as possible. Not stressing our body. We have our block for support. Taking the time to settle into this low lunge, settling into the hip flexor. And we have the option to come over into a side bend here. Again, finding support on our block. Or the floor, depending how open we're feeling today. Holding ourselves upright, big reach. Calm, steady rhythm of front. Three more breaths here. We can lower our arm parallel to the floor, reaching it over for a very gentle twist, rotating and gazing back over our left shoulder. Changing the height of our blocks as needed. And we gently come out of that pressing our hips back, and we'll extend our left leg, pointing our toes out, hamstring stretch here. Again, we have our blocks for support as needed. We lengthen the torso, we hinge over our extended leg, slow and steady. Fitting the pose to our body. Not worrying about what we look like. We honor the state of our body. Breathing space through the back of the leg. Three more breaths. And we'll draw the left leg all the way back underneath us, coming back into all fours. Curling our toes under our shins, we lift up into down dog on the exhalation. Micro movements to reset before we do the other leg. Perhaps we paddle it out, bending our knees, lifting one heel off the mat at a time. Whatever feels good. We'll reset in the middle. We'll lower ourselves back down. And we'll bring our right leg through into our 1990, setting our blocks up again if we need them. Block on the right side. And we can slowly walk our right foot forward, 
coming into a low lunge, melting into the left hip flexor, finding our stability, walking our right foot out as needed. Melting forward. Trying not to hold all our tension in our shoulders and our jaw. We have the option to bring our left arm over our shoulder, depending how we're feeling. We're not here to cause stress. We support with our block. We can bend over to the right side, bending over that lunged leg, over our torso, reaching our arm up if we're not causing stress through the hip flexor and the psoas. Being gentle, recognizing that we hold a lot of emotion in this part of the body. We don't really want to poke the tiger or wake up the bear. We have the option to bring our arm across parallel to the floor, looking over our right shoulder. Again, fitting the pose to our body and what we need out of our practice. Beautiful. Coming back to center, we press ourselves up and back. I see I've morphed over to the right side of my mat, resetting, extending our right leg long, pointing the toes up, elongating through the torso, hinging forward, keeping our blocks underneath our hands for support. Again, we don't want to fall too far too fast or to create stress. We're here to release the stress. Maintaining our presence on the physical sensations and our breath as a guide. Ensuring calm, steady rhythm of breath. Noticing transformations, perhaps a slight melting into the pose a little bit deeper. And we'll draw the right leg underneath us. Coming into all fours, pushing our blocks in front of us if we had them. Lining them up, shoulder height, shoulder width, pardon me. We'll step up into another down dog, curling our toes under our shins, deep breaths in. And we exhale, lifting our hips. Pressing back into the knees, into the ankles. onto our knees, walking ourselves out into puppy pose, this time with the option to bring our hands onto our blocks. 
melting our chest a little bit lower to the earth, bringing our chin to the ground as possible, or our forehead, listening to the chest and the upper back, breathing space across down the arms, through the shoulders, as possible, we remove the blocks if this is too uncomfortable or intense. Perhaps we bring the elbows to the earth, noticing how that shifts the sensations in the upper arms and shoulders. Maintaining awareness on the physical sensations, knowing we won't be here for long. Digging deep into our breath to calm us. Yeah, bringing our hands to the mat, perhaps our chin. We'll draw ourselves forward into Cobra Pose. Bringing our forearms underneath us. Palms are pressed into the mat. Elbows are under our shoulders. We shift our hips around, allowing the legs to open naturally to find a gentle placement. And inhaling, we lift our chest. Breathing into our lower back, feeling a gentle opening across the chest. Breathing into the lower back, feeling the expansion nourishment of the muscle fibers expanding and contracting. Three more breaths. And we lower our chest down, bringing our arms underneath us, left over right, crossing and walking the hands out as far as we can, elongating and bringing the chin over top of the arms, gently melting into the front of the arm. Playing with the position of the hands, perhaps we keep the palms pressing into the earth, perhaps we rotate them upwards, depending on our level of intensity or tolerance. Noticing ourselves melting into the pose. Little shifts as we unravel. Three 
Three more breaths. We'll bring our arms back out, reaching our arms back, lifting our chest, lifting our feet off the ground, holding here, or we have the option to reach for our feet, pressing the feet into the hands, lifting the legs off the earth as possible, upward bow. Feeling the opening down the arms and across the chest. Three, two, we release. Bringing our right arm over our left this time. Resetting, walking the hands out as possible, and then we slowly lower our chin over the front of the arm. Oh, you know what is saying? Different sensations, perhaps on this side. And keeping our awareness on the breath. The expansion of our ribs laterally. Noticing the micro releases of energy, enabling us to melt a little bit deeper, to release that clenching feeling. Three more breaths. We'll unravel from that. Option again to reach the arms back. Lifting the legs as an option, grabbing the feet, trying not to tweak the spine. Lifting the legs, pressing the feet into the hands. Feeling that opening. Across the chest, down the arms. Releasing out of it. Bringing our hands underneath our chest, toes together, and we're gonna press back into child's pose. Bringing our blocks with us so that they can come under our forearms again as desired. We have options. Sinking back. Settling into our lower back to start. And depending on how open we're feeling today, we have the option to bring our upper arms and elbows onto our blocks and to reach our hands behind our back. Melting our chest a little bit closer to the earth, getting a stretch down the forearms, down the shoulders, the triceps.
noticing our body settling into the pose. Noticing the hips, the lower back. And we'll slowly walk our hands in, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders and head, grabbing a sip of water, optional. Crossing our feet at the ankles, and we'll slowly come over onto our backs, extending our legs long, Shavasana. Allowing our lower back to reset. Coming down gently for our final few poses here with our back connected to the earth. Take a moment to feel the contact our body makes on the mat below. To notice our calmness, stillness, and light. And we bring our knees into our chest one at a time, hugging them in. Narrow or wide, still or rocking, whatever feels yummy for the body. And bringing our left foot to the mat, walking it to the outer edge. We'll cross our leg over into a figure four for a figure four twist today. Extending our arms wide in a T. And then slowly lowering the knees over to the right. Using our block for support underneath that right leg as needed. Removing it as possible. In listening to what the body is telling us, the sensations down the left side. And if we want to explore the position of our arms, we can bring them to our abdomen or lift them above our head. Whatever feels most comfortable. Bringing our awareness to any areas of discomfort and breathing into them. Keeping our foot on the outside of the left knee for extra depth to the pose if accessible for us today if this is feeling too intense we ease off we release the foot Three more breaths. Inhaling, bringing our knees back to center. We unravel and we can bring our knees into our chest for a gentle hug. And 
again, releasing the right foot to the earth, to the outer edge of the mat. Crossing the left leg over, figure four. And then slowly rotating over to the left. Again, we can extend our arms wide in a T. Bring them to our hips or above our heads. Keeping our block there for support as it might be needed. And again, just noticing those areas of heaviness or tightness, breathing into them. Three more breaths here. And we release, unraveling, hugging the knees into the chest, wide or narrow, chin to chest or head on the earth. And we have the option here to come into a supported fish pose, making use of our blocks. Bringing one under our or mid back and one under our head as desired. Once we're here in our fish or shavasana, we have the option to bring our legs into 90 degrees or into butterfly. Again, continuing to work into the hips, the upper back, the lower back. It's finding that gentle pose that helps continue to open those areas that might be blocked. that need our attention and nourishment. Adjusting our blocks as we go, and eventually ending up on the mat in our final resting pose of Shavasana. Taking the time here that might serve us steady rhythm of breath. Taking a moment to reflect on any intention we may have set at the beginning of our practice. perhaps modifying it or setting a new one for the days ahead.
bringing ourselves into our final resting pose. When we're ready, again, feeling the contact our body makes on the earth below. And running through a body scan from head to toe, getting a sense of how the mood and energy may have shifted from the beginning of our practice. Noticing areas of lightness, strength, and openness. Celebrating having come to the mat today, taking time to nourish ourselves, our bodies and minds. We're slowing down, we're slowing down our breath and our movements, and giving our bodies a chance to recover and reset for the days ahead. Hugging our knees into our chest, floating through any final micro movements, perhaps rocking or rolling of our feet, pointing, flexing, bringing our awareness back to the space around us, the sounds, the temperature, and the smells. And we'll slowly roll ourselves over, pressing ourselves up. Pressing ourselves back to easy seated pose, whatever that looks like for us. Bringing our hands to heart center, we give thanks for the opportunity to practice and to nourish our bodies and minds. I wish you a beautiful continuation of inner peace and Zen. Thank you for joining me and for allowing me on your journey. Namaste.